Great, we are back. Yes, back with another WCM Live. <laughs> all right. I think I did a better job of getting us all in the frame this time. Oh, we're there. <laughs> it's always a struggle. Mm-hmm. And I've got Great. it on mine. Okay. I'm still waiting for it to pull up, so I might. Oh, there we go. And you can hear us, definitely. Oh, good. I just had my volume on accidentally. Okay. All right. Oh. Let's get started. Hello and welcome back to another WCN Live here in the break room at the Wilson County News. I'm your usual host, Julia, the Marketing and Social Media Specialist. Hi, good morning. I'm Kristen Weaver, Director of Operations. And today we are joined by... Uh, Travis Prusky with the Right to Remember. I live in uh, Poth, uh, well, South Wilson County in the uh, Three Oaks area, actually. Great. Really cool, yeah. And so we're going to be talking all about... A ride to remember. It's starting in Poth on what day? It's next Saturday the 15th. All right. So we're going to be learning all about this event that's happening next Saturday. I believe y'all's flyer says y'all have until April 8th to sign yeah. up online. Uh, registration we allowed through the 15th, but uh, by April 8th is you guaranteed to get a shirt because um, oh. we have, you know, we have to place our order and get those oh. in. So any we do allow people to register up to the day of the event. Okay. All right. All right. And so we're going to be talking the history of this event, you know, why it's hosted in Poth, among other things today. So thank you so much for joining us. Mm-hmm. We hope that you enjoy today's talk. Uh, be sure to leave a comment because here in a second we're going to be drawing our comment contest winner. Before we get into that, though, we'd like to thank our sponsor. Today's sponsor is Price Chrysler Dodge Ram Jeep in Floresville. If you missed last week's talk, you should definitely tune into it, catch up. We had two salesmen Mm -hmm. from Price on camera with us. They were so fun to talk to. They told us all about the history of the dealership Mm -hmm. and things like that. But they also reminded us that Price is hiring for all positions. They need, you know, salesmen. They need customer reps. I don't know if that's the same thing. They have a huge service. Yes, uh, their service that they were talking about. So 18 double car service Mm base. So, yeah, they are hiring. And you can learn more at PriceCDRJ.com. So thank you, Price, for sponsoring today's video, and we hope you guys enjoy it. Um, Let's get into drawing our comment contest winner. So if you're not sure what that is, if you comment on our video while we're live, you're entered to win a drawing during next week's live video. Mm -hmm. So here we have the pool of names, people who commented on last week's video, if you would do us the honors. see, we have... Holly Han uh, Walston. All right, oh, Holly. Sweet. She ha- wins again. Yes, happy winnings. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats, Holly. Be looking out for a Facebook message from me. Not from the Wilson County News, but from me, because I can't figure out how to message individuals mm-hmm. from the page. It has exactly. To be from my profile. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> be looking Facebook out works. for that. Um, and if you guys are interested in winning a gift, Next week, be sure to comment on today's video. Um, Holly, your prize is a C Street gift shop gift bag. If you've never visited our gift shop, C Street gift shop, it's in the front office of the Wilson County News. Mm-hmm. We have all sorts of goodies, and they're all locally sourced. Well, the majority mm-hmm. of them. We try our best uh, to yeah. get Texas sourced mm-hmm. products, and they are so unique and fun. Unique and items, yep. Now you get to win some stuff from there. <laughs> so definitely be sure to comment, and especially if you have a question. We would love to be able to have your questions answered while we're live. So let's get into the conversation now. Um, right. We kind of started out with this, but let's reiterate. Who are you? Where do you, where are you from? And what do you do? Okay. Well, it's Travis Prusky. Um, I live just outside of Poth, like I said, in the Three Oaks area. Um, this is an event that we started about 15 years ago um, when I was a city council member and then uh, continued on when I was being a mayor to help uh, the bring some events to the community, so we're um, mm-hmm. just excited about it. Wonderful. Yeah, okay. Very interesting. And so you grew up around here? Yes, I uh, grew up. I uh, went to Poth High School, graduated in uh, 1996. Go Pirates. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, moved away for a little while, then came back when we started our family and lived in Poth for several years, and then we moved um, out to some family land out in the Three Oaks area. Wonderful. That yeah. is so yeah. sweet. can't believe it's been 15 story. years for this event, too. Yes, mm-hmm. this is, yeah, we're excited. This is our 15th year. That's cool. pretty big, yeah. So, yes. speaking of your event, what is a ride to remember? Well, the ride to remember, uh, we started uh, um, about, I guess, 16 years ago when we started the planning process of this, is we... Um, I'm an avid bike rider and I do triathlons and those types of events and I was always having to travel far to do different types of um, bicycling events or those types of things. We wanted to do something locally and the ride to remember came about is um, 
my grandmother had Alzheimer's and uh, she was pretty sick with it. And when she passed away, um, I got to know some of the people at the Alzheimer's Association in the San Antonio chapter. So we thought that'd be a great way to bring an event to both, but then have a really great partner with the Alzheimer's Association in uh, San Antonio. So every, this is started in honor of my grandma, uh, Martina Prusky, a wonderful lady. <laughs> and uh, just a great way to honor her every year by raising money to help support. Um, raising money for that. Yes. Wonderful. Yeah, wow. And we get a, a lot of people uh, come. Our, our riders have been with us for a long time. They're there because they want to support this event yeah. and the association, That's so great. it's a wonderful. Wonderful connection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's always been hosted in Poth? Yes, we've always hosted it in Poth. Um, we go out of our Poth City Park, and mm -hmm. then we have routes that go all through uh, Wilson County. Okay. Yeah, we have uh, four different levels. We have a six, our big one is our 66 mile route. Mm -hmm. It's, it's a, we start with a big 44 mile loop that goes south almost towards McCoy, it goes out through 536, comes back in through Floresville mm -hmm. and back into town and then we have a, a that, so we have 66 miles and then oh. um, there's a 44 mile loop similar and then there's a 22 mile loop that goes from Poth to Three Oaks over to 97 and then back into mm -hmm. Floresville and back into Poth. Mm -hmm. And then we have a 12 mile, we call it our family road that goes mm -hmm. to Dewey's and back. Okay, yeah. sweet. Yeah. Great. Yeah. And then we also, um, about seven years ago, we added a 5K to go with it that's all oh, done okay. in, inside the city post. Not everyone in locally is a bike riders, mm -hmm. so we wanted to have something for local oh, folks great. to just come out and do a 5K yeah. run walk thing. Sweet, yeah, you've got lots of yeah. options for yes. folks. Mm -hmm. um, it seems like a lot to organize, and I'm sure you don't do it all by yourself. Um, so who all is involved in putting it on? Um, well, the... Uh, Post City Hall has been fantastic. Uh, Rose and Misty the, um, have been working, doing this with me for a long time. We kind of laugh is that it's the first few years it seemed like a lot, and now you kind of break into a rhythm, and it yeah. seemed, it's um, get, a lot of the work is we get done for being we use the same routes, and we have some really great staff members. Um, we also have a lot of volunteers. Uh, the Prusky family is quite large. Uh, we have a lot of my um, uncles and cousins come involved. Mm -hmm. And then um, we have a, quite a few, what we make sure we do with our volunteers is that um, we have police department that goes out throughout the whole course to make sure it's safe, but we also have sometimes between seven and eight trucks that will drive around with flashers on that go and help the riders out for if they have, you know, flat tires or yeah. water and those types of things. So it's, um, okay. we have quite a few volunteers. It's pretty fantastic. And then with the, uh, the school, we have volunteers from the um, Honor Society from all three levels, from elementary, oh. junior high, and high school. They do the water stations at oh, the, um, on the 5K. And then we have a lot of volunteers that do the water stations out on the course. So we have uh, the uh, Wilson County Republican women have helped us for all 15 years. Wow. Mm -hmm. They do one of the water stations. The Alzheimer's Association in San Antonio, mm -hmm. they always bring group down. They handle one of the water stations. Okay. Uh, one of our um, most famous or popular water stations is the Frank Tejada um, Veterans mm -hmm. Home. That's we have it there, so they come out, and I think the residents there really they like it. Yeah, yeah. The, see the people. Right. Yes, mm -hmm. and then we also have a couple more. Sorry. No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the Post VFW uh, been a water sponsor oh, station for yeah. the longest time, and then. Um, uh, we do one at uh, JP, uh, the new Justice of Peace, uh, mm -hmm. Buck Griffin, okay. uh, Precinct right. 2. He, we have one at his house because he's out on the route. On the oh, route. Sweet. Yeah. yeah. That's convenient. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So all of our water stations have really great volunteers, yeah. lots of water, and then we have restrooms at each location mm -hmm. as well. Ooh, yeah. yeah, that's helpful for yes. sure. I remember many a morning in cross country practice when I didn't use the bathroom before we ran. <laughs> we were just plan. stuck having to hold it for like a six mile run. That yeah. is not fun. So, yeah, glad to hear y'all have bathrooms. Yes. <laughs> That's a huge plus. <laughs> so, you also mentioned you have many different options for bikers. It seems like your 66 mile might be for more experienced, maybe more competitive folks, and then you've got these different tiers from there. So, are there, you know, specific levels of fitness or experience that you recommend for each level or like if you're going in a group it's with really people. it's all personal and then also yeah. very weather dependent um okay. when we've had some years it's been very windy mm -hmm. and so um maybe some start off on the 66 and only do the 44 mm -hmm. because of the wind those types of things um it was one year i think about um 12 30 or one we had to call the ride because there was a severe thunderstorm coming through with some rain yeah. but we've never had to cancel a ride we've made mm -hmm. it every year we've been able to successfully yeah. do that and safely do that and but it's and every year in april 
Um, we or? used to actually originally it started in September. Oh, if that's you re- right. I do remember. Yeah, that. if you remember, there used to be the mm-hmm. MS one hundred and fifty used to have the bike to the beach, so they start mm-hmm. in San Antonio oh, yeah. and they go down to the beach, yeah. and we were a uh, training ride because that was always in October, so they mm-hmm. used us as a training route in September. Hey. Yeah. And then when that <laughs> stopped nice. doing that, yeah. uh, September was always really hot. <laughs> Yeah. So we decided to move it to the spring. Yeah. Uh, so okay. yeah, we had we had to cancel one year in September for because of a hurricane. Whoa. We moved to the, we moved Texas it to April, yeah. and it was like wow, it's much nicer in April. Well, <laughs> so let's sure. let's stay in April. Yeah, stay yeah, in might April. Might have a little bit of rain, but mm-hmm. that's more of a blessing when you're yeah. you know out there sweating on your bicycle yeah. for what like hours. Mm-hmm. I don't know how long it takes to ride sixty six miles. Yeah, well, um, we have yeah, some right. guys that can do it in about three three and a half hours, and then some folks take maybe up to six hours. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Um, so, are there going to be like prizes for those who come in, like for second? It, it's not a, a timed event. Okay. Um, we don't because most um, bike riders like t- to do it as a they they race they run really hard, but it's more of a, a practice. Yeah, well, yeah. a um, social event. Oh, okay. Yeah. So they're riding and they will like want to stop at the rest stations and talk to oh, the f- different okay. groups, mm-hmm. that kind of thing. So okay. we don't, yeah we don't do timed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I, on our 5K, some of our um, both uh, cross country kids make it pretty competitive mm-hmm. on their 5K. They like <laughs> yeah. to I'm really sure push it. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, would you say that this is a good event to attend if you've been thinking about giving bike riding a try and you're not really? Oh, absolutely. Sure. Yeah. With the 12 mile um, route, is we have quite a few volunteers there. So if you're not sure how far you can get back. Mm-hmm. Um, will help get you back when you if you're done <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but we do have you know with a lot of water stations and those types of things yeah it's and um, with our security with the police department and all of our volunteers it, the roads are very safe um, okay. we, so good. we have a lot of yeah. people out there slowing everybody down yeah. well let's talk more about this safety um, I'm sure most bikers are going to know this but what kind of gear should you bring you know helmets elbow pads snacks even water um, most bikers will have their helmets. Um, we don't require them, um, but it's recommended. Right. Um, they'll have their waters, but we have all of our stations are spread out far enough mm-hmm. that we have plenty of snacks and water mm-hmm. so they don't have to like over pack. Like right. a lot of our riders will, they'll take trips, just go out on their own for 60 mm-hmm. miles. They got to pack a lot of stuff with them. Well, we have all enough stations with food options and things that are spread usually around six miles apart. So they're not mm-hmm. having to go too far without getting right. resupplied. Okay, okay. Yeah. So you don't need it, but it would be smart to, to yeah. bring it. Okay. Yeah. Is there, um, I guess, a specific kind of bike that you recommend over other kinds? Because, like, I have this oh, really that's... cute Roadster bike. It's got a little basket in the front. <laughs> it has a place to put groceries. It's got a really nice round seat and high handlebars. I, maybe I'd recommend that one maybe for the 12-mile route. The, yeah. Um, when you go to the 22s, those further, uh, those are road bikes, and um, I wouldn't pick a favorite here because everyone's got their own, and that started a little controversy between your bike riders. <laughs> <laughs> but you need a good road bike for yeah. to get to get the those distances. Right. Okay. <laughs> Not your that beach cruiser. Sense. Yeah, the beach cruiser is mm-hmm. comfortable, but only for a certain exactly. amount of time. Exactly. Exactly. Right. Okay. Well, good to note. Um, so we talked about why you started the bike ride and the 5k let's talk a little more about that so um why is it continuing you know who does it benefit and why do you continue to help with this well we've um over the past 15 years we've raised about almost two hundred thousand dollars um we split that money equally between the alzheimer's association and then the rest that we also do um goes towards our park if you've been to the Poth Park, yeah. we've made a lot of improvements Beautiful. over the years. Yeah. Um, playground equipment, walking yeah. trails, shade structures, the amphitheater, mm-hmm. so the restrooms, yes. all those things. Um, yep. The city <laughs> and yeah. the um, economic foundation have all mm-hmm. been part of that, and the ride have all chipped in the money to help That's pay great. for all those things. We really wanted wow. to create a park yeah. that people can use, and if you ever if mm-hmm. you ever, ever go there, it's usually it got quite a few people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's a busy place. It's nice I've, to visit. Mm-hmm. It's a good place to just, like, grab mm-hmm. food to go and go yep. sit out, watch everything happen mm-hmm. around you. Is the fountain still in the oh, yeah, park? Yeah, we have, yeah, we have our fountain. That's yeah. so peaceful. Yeah, we, it really is. Yeah, nice. they put that one in with the bike ride money, I think mm-hmm. about 
five years ago, maybe, mm -hmm. and then we put the deck with it, the oh, walking pier. Yeah, yeah. And the deck is a really good place to do yoga, mm -hmm. by the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, because yeah. the water is so relaxing, mm -hmm. it sounds like you're at a river. So. Yeah. Yes, That's yeah, it's, pretty. it's fantastic. And, and the with the other half going to the Alzheimer's Association, they're just a wonderful group. Mm -hmm. Of course, a lot of money they go towards research, but then they also, for those who don't know, the San Antonio chapter, there's a lot of res resources to um, from education programs. Mm -hmm. If you have family members that are with it, how to work with them. Uh, they're just just a fantastic organization out of San Antonio. Oh, so that's great. That is awesome. Okay. So um, as long as I guess, well, as long as I'm with God willing, I'll we'll mm -hmm. keep this ride going. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And my absolutely. my kids, my kids love the bike ride every day. There's, I have a ten year old and a five year old. They can't wait every year for the bike ride. So oh. you got to keep it going for them too. <laughs> yes, that is so sweet. Fun family tradition. Yeah. Would you say that? Um, there are any options that y'all have on the hmm. running, walking, or biking side that are more family friendly? Oh yeah, the, the 12 mile is definitely, again, it's a very family friendly ride. Um, the 5K, uh, there's a lot of families, um, there'll be uh, families pushing strollers, doing that yeah, kind of thing. Yeah. We also allow um, any small kids that they can actually do their bike ride on the 5K. We let them uh -huh. start right before yeah. the 5Kers go oh, off. Yeah, so they don't accidentally run someone mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, so they're all safe, <laughs> yeah. but they can get a nice course. So um, yeah, there's plenty of family options out there. And then, I mean, just our park with all the playground equipment and all the things, I mean, kids have a great time out there. Oh, sounds fun and amazing. What a beautiful day and some activity to do with your family. Yes. How many riders do you all usually participate um, in? Usually around 200 to 250, yeah. give or take, on the year. Um, mm -hmm. You never know with the weather, right. um, but usually around there. Okay. It's um, pr pretty steady. I, I would say probably 60, 70 percent of those mm -hmm. riders have been with us for all 15 years. Right. It becomes a real tradition mm -hmm. and the people just love the event. Absolutely. So they come back and they love the community. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone absolutely. tells us they're the volunteers and everything. There's a reason mm -hmm. they keep coming back. Oh, sweet. Nice. And so since y'all are starting this in Poth City Park, will there be other activities going on at the park? Um, we do have um, Leroy Sota. He does our, he's our DJ for the day. So mm -hmm. he starts okay. his music about 7 and he'll run the music till usually around uh, 10, 30, 11. So there's music for the kids and everything. Mm -hmm. And then starting about um, 10, 30, 11, we do a barbecue um, lunch for all um, riders, get a free mm -hmm. barbecue lunch. And mm -hmm. then you can, um, if anyone in the public just wants to come out, they can buy mm -hmm. um, the barbecue. Very yeah. cool. Okay, yeah. so you got some food, you got mm -hmm. some music. Yeah. You've got refreshments and snacks for all of these participants. Sounds like a really fun time. Yes. Really good time to go out and chill. <laughs> all right. And so we've talked a lot about Alzheimer's. I don't mean to put you on the spot, but are there any like facts that you can share with us that you've kind of picked up over the years working with the Alzheimer's uh, Association? Um, I wouldn't say facts. It would be just the care um, you need to put into your family members, the loving, the understanding. It's a tough thing um, for a family to go through and just yeah. um, you, prayers. You've got to spend a lot of time with God whenever you, your family member get struck with this disease. It's mm -hmm. um, fortunately um, Prayer and patience. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, those are huge. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Well, have you been able to see any of the ways that your your funds have have helped, like specifically in the Alzheimer's Association? Well, I know that, that they use them um, to help fund their education programs that they have. Um, there's a if you ever been to their offices in San Antonio, mm -hmm. um, there's just there's a nice information packet where they can give you just so many different ways to help cope. Um, they have resources mm -hmm. to um, where they actually have like events where they'll teach people how, and then yeah. they have volunteers yeah. that actually will go to some of the wow. like nursing homes and things mm -hmm. like that to help family mm -hmm. members who have it. So yeah. I mean, just right. yeah, they just are fantastic. Wow. Dispersed in all of these things that they're doing. Yes. And most of those things that you mentioned involve going out into the communities, which mm -hmm. is so valuable, yes. really, because otherwise you have to seek it out yourself. Mm -hmm. And it's not always that easy to find. Not all of us are Google pros. And, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So. And I mean, almost everyone I know has a family member who was struck with Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. It's um, very common. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. Yeah, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. I know. I read a lot of studies about it won't share those facts because I can't verify them with a piece of paper right now, but, you know. Yeah. Um, all right. And so... Back to the see. ride, though, you had mentioned earlier, and you probably said it again, but um, someone did 
ask this. Thank you, Sherry, for the question. Um, they can sign up. You said by the eighth, but also on the day they can still sign up. Yeah, we right? yeah All we yeah we have yeah people sign up that morning of mm -hmm. um, for the five k or yeah. the run. We just don't guarantee you'll have get a shirt. That's because right. we have to place our order, and when yeah. supplies run out, we always have um, buy extra food, so we always mm -hmm. plenty of food. Oh, that's good. But shirts are a little expensive, so we don't yeah. <laughs> over purchase yeah. them. But yes, please come out. Okay. Yeah, so you don't have to ride or run to attend oh. or even to contribute to the cause. No, we have lots of um, people that do donations, mm -hmm. um, just come out and enjoy the mm -hmm. event, um, be around it. If mm -hmm. you've ever been around um, 5K people and bicycle people, they're really, really, really wonderful people. Mm -hmm. We're always impressed that the park is be full of cars and they'll be spread out picnicking all mm -hmm. over, <laughs> but the park is always clean. Mm -hmm. we, don't have to yeah. go, we don't have to clean up whenever oh, we're done. Wow. I mean, you just create That's really great lot. people, so mm -hmm. yeah. Good community so spirit. Yeah, the community mm -hmm. spirit, yeah, they, and the, that, those groups of people just are fantastic yeah. to be around, awesome. so it's a pleasure to put them on for them. Mm -hmm. Have you Wonderful. felt community growth, like, even within yourself, um, feeling more connected around people by not just organizing this event, but participating in it? Oh, yes, it's, I mean, that, that day, um, usually I start that morning about four o'clock, start getting things ready. Yeah. And um, but it's all of that the volunteers, the riders mm -hmm. that just keep you motivated till um, you don't usually get home till about four o'clock mm -hmm. that afternoon. So it's a long day, but you don't feel yeah. it till you get home. Then you're exhausted. Right. <laughs> yeah. But you and just, where you're going, I can't believe it's over, but I'm glad it's over. But you're like in between, <laughs> right? Yeah. And when do you start planning the next one? Uh, well, we, we're uh, planning right now. I believe it um, April thirteenth will be the you have your date f following mm -hmm. year. Yeah, yeah, usually we do it. We've been trying to do around the week after Easter. Yeah, give or take mm -hmm. is okay. usually our plan. So we'll start um, planning. But it's mm -hmm. just um, how to say it's a well-oiled machine now. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you just kind of have your little Things points you put in yeah. throughout the year, and as it gets closer, probably yes. you start promoting it and getting the word out. Yeah. Is there opportunities for individuals or even area businesses or organizations to sponsor the event? Absolutely. Yeah. That the city of uh, cityofpost.org, the website mm -hmm. is there's a sponsor page for people to mm -hmm. sponsor. I would um, hate to no one turn down volunteers, but we mm -hmm. have so many volunteers. It's uh, sometimes yeah, we have, yeah. don't have enough places to put everybody because yeah. so many people want to um, come in and be yeah. supportive of it. But yes, yeah, sponsorships always That's are amazing. greatly yeah. uh, welcomed. Okay, good to know. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. um, so I guess that sort of answers my question about the volunteers because that was what I was going to ask. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's see. I guess our last question. Um, would be where people can go to learn more about a right to remember and also to register. Yes, so the city of Port, city of post org is the website. Okay. Um, there's a link right there on the front page and it goes to the, it's super easy to sign up and register there. Yeah. Or again, um, next sat it's next Saturday at the Post Park. Um, just, if you get there, you can sign up and be ready to go. The um, We usually start registration at 7 a.m. that morning of uh, the bike ride starts at 8 a.m. And then we do the 5K at 9 a.m. That kind of gives all the chance for all the bikers to get out and just mm -hmm. kind of change courses on yeah. everything. Great. That makes sense. Okay. And you mentioned you need to sign up by April 8th online if you want to be guaranteed that shirt. Yeah. Correct. Mm -hmm. all right. Yeah. And so is this an example of what this year's this, shirt is? This is last year's shirt. Last year. So this is the 20 April. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is the 2020 shirt. Uh, so we do the athletic fit. Um, mm -hmm. It's the okay. super soft, uh, yeah. great shirt. Nice. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I love my. <laughs> yeah, they, so yeah, they're yeah, they're yeah, yeah those are nice. Yeah, yeah. the cool the cool right. tech is in. Yeah, okay. so the, yeah, everyone, everyone loves the shirts. It's mm -hmm. not just a regular cotton shirt. Yeah, is there a different color? Every I year? was gonna ask yes. that too. <laughs> yes, uh, we we <laughs> always um, uh, get different new colors every shirt. I, I've got. I think my closet mm -hmm. is. Com Got cobalt the complete blue. rainbow in it, yeah. <laughs> this year we're doing a, a cobalt blue for the riders, and then we're doing a primrose for the um, volunteers. Great. Well, that sounds yeah. like pretty spring colors, too. Yeah. Mm, good. We've done, of course, with the Alzheimer's Association, their color is purple, so we've done yeah. purple quite a few yeah. times. Okay. Um, but we always try to change it up. Yeah. That makes sense. Very yeah. cool. Okay. <laughs> sounds like a blast. I and know. Everybody should I'm head like... out to Poth on April 15th yeah. and yes. check it out. <laughs> Come do the walk. If, you, if you're not not a runner, not a biker, come just walk and join. And I mean, yeah. great cause yeah. for the Poth Park, which you, cause then if you haven't been there, it's fantastic. Yeah. And then that the Alzheimer's Association that is... Fun. I will be out of town, but oh. yeah. Yeah, oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
Well, was there anything else that you wanted to share before we wrap up today? No, just thank y'all so much for your time and hope to see y'all all next Saturday. Yes, yeah, we hope to be out there. Mm -hmm. Um, we look forward to having some pictures in the paper at post event and yes. keep that awareness built on the program and and what it's drawing for funds for raising funds for yeah. and also that you can find information about both ride to remember in the wilson county news this week um and you know remember the website for the city cityofpoth.org to learn more about this event yeah all right well thank you so much today for joining us travis um if you missed any part of this video and you don't know who this guy is he's travis Prusky with a ride to remember it's happening in poth mm -hmm. next saturday april 15th so be sure to go back and watch parts of this video share it with folks that you think would be interested mm -hmm. in maybe coming out running a 5k walking a 5k biking 66 or mm -hmm. 43 or 12 miles and then just enjoying the beautiful city park in yeah. Poth, yes. right yeah, and so thank you so much for joining us today. Um, we're glad that you stayed for the conversation and got to learn about this awesome event. Um, and thank you to our sponsor, Price Chrysler Dodge Ram Jeep, here in Floresville. Their new state-of-the-art location, their building, is mm -hmm. open. They've got really cool stuff in there. Um, they've got cool cars, of course. Mm -hmm. And of they're cars. also hiring, so if you're looking for a career, you can apply at pricecdrj.com. And so, yeah, and Check if you want to learn more about them, watch last week's WCN Live. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. All right. Okay. Well, this has been fun, but we'll see you next Wednesday at mm -hmm. 10 a.m., so mark your calendars. See you then.